my friend. Ryuta has got himself the 20 Super Barbarians and a healers here in the mix. All right, he starts off with that Lava Hound. Look at the air defense right on the outside of this base. Pops pretty quickly. There is the Town Hall. We have the Rage. The Bomb Tower is there. There is the Invis. Bowlers coming in. So he's going with the Bowler Skips. They hit the Town Hall. Will he? Oh, oh, another Invis. He does not take out the scatter shot. Wasn't able to get that bounce there. Wait, now they do actually bounce there. The bomb tower. Oh, they took some a little bit of damage. And they ended up going down because, you know, the bowlers do have more health than the super wizards. Or at least they don't die from the bomb tower so they can stay alive a little bit longer through that. As the queen is now going to clear this lava hound to the top side here. And the headhunter goes down. With a Warden Walk off to the left. Has quite a bit more healers to utilize. As the Hound does now pop with the healers down. The double hero charge. As the Eagle Artillery did decide to lock on to that Grand Warden. We have not deployed anything else. He's being patient here as the Queen looks like she's going to charge close to this ground expo. That Warden's taking more damage from the Eagle Artillery. But the Warden is getting healed back up. There's the jump, so the queen can continue her charge in. The funneling looks brilliant, but the thing is, this air expo is actually still up. That's going to be a problem. Probably was hoping that was going to go down from the bowlers as the queen is stepping into the scatter. Poison's going to get launched. There's the king into the single. Oh, oh, makes the queen invisible to keep her ability intact. Single is going to lock onto this king. A couple super barbs. Is he going to pop that king ability? Or what is he going to do with that single? No, no, no. Warden, he's hanging on to it. Pops king ability. And the Warden Eternal Tome now is used to try to keep this king alive and get as much value as possible. But the healers are sitting in the poison. They're going down. As the king did clear this bottom side, queen's taking the jump, reaching the monolith. Freezing the monolith, but losing the queen. And the queen does actually come back alive with the phoenix to try to help get a little bit more there. But now the healer will transfer off to that royal champion. And a bunch of Expos are still waiting this RC on the backside. It is an Air Expo, so it won't lock on too closely just yet. RC ability skips through. She's going down fast. Archer Tower has been removed. We got a couple Super Barbarians being used onto this cannon. Taking that down. The multi is staying up. RC dies. The Phoenix is going to be able to help try to secure the multi. As he's making his way around. But the Warden is dead. The King is dead. Oh, the bowlers, unfortunately, didn't get all the skip values. Probably hoping over there. Ryuda. Look at the effort that he's still putting up. Such a high percentage here. And remember, at the end of these matches, there is a judge voting that can influence. If it's a super close match, you never know what's going to happen as it's an 88% two-star for Ryuda. Cooked up here with 13 rocket loons, some lightning. All right, starting off with that flame flinger to the top side of this base. Gonna help try to clear towards this scatter shot. We do have a mortar there, so be careful. You're gonna have to try to protect the flame flinger. It's gonna take some time now. What else? There's the lightning to take out the multi, the expo, and damages the queen. Doesn't take her out. Rockaloons onto the cannon, so he can then eventually try to take out the mortar with some more rockaloons, maybe. As we've got that queen off to the far right side. Yet he's onto the cannon here. There's Rackaloons into the mortar. Oh, it doesn't go down. One more hit is needed. Unless the fire spares can touch it. I don't think so. Nope, they're not damaging it. Queen's going to continue her way to the right side. Flame Flinger. Oh, oh, he's going to... Oh, he's not going to do anything. He drops the Barbarian. The Yetis are trying to distract it. Yeti mites. Oh, no! Unless the Barbarian... Oh, yes! The Barbarian tanked the shot of the Scatter, so he didn't have to use any more Rocket Loons. Every single one matters. As he got three Super Wall Breakers for this Queen to make her onto the right side. Let's see. There's the Wall Break, which pulls the Super Wall Break. Or actually pulls the, uh, some of the CC troops out of here. He's continuing his way into the Town Hall. Queen... He's going to make her way to the town hall. With, there's an, another poison that's on the other side here. With that, with a few yetis off to the left. 
There's the Rage Up Queen. Now pulls the rest of this clan castle out with more headhunters. The Lava Hound. Uh-oh. That's going to hurt the Queen. Her ability is going to be forced. She's going to get stuck on this Hound now. And we got the Warden with the King as an Electro Titan comes out to the top side with the Flame Flinger. But the Queen, what is she doing? She's going for a wall. Are you serious? She what? Queen. Oh, no. She no. She doesn't even get the down all. No, wait. Are you serious? Did he send the RC in already? She never... The Lava Hound literally completely messed up this queen. Are you serious? What a queen. Uh, not, oh, she still has eight Rockaloos to try to send it. Luckily, the tunnel is not getting repaired here. The Rockaloos need to save the day to try to take that town hall down. Uh-oh. But he's only got 26 seconds. You got to send Rockaloos from over here. You got to go. You got to move them. What are you doing? He's waiting for the poison spell maybe to get pulled or something. Oh no, Ash, you only have 15 seconds. He's sending them all in. They're going. Go, Ragaloons, go. Oh my goodness. Ragaloons. Oh my. Wow, barely able to secure the two star. Whew. But that queen just would not help out Ash there. Wow. To you, Gaku. With the 40 barbs, 40 archers. And he's got a little bit of a queen charge here. With that flame flinger to the top side. As the queen's going to make her way towards the scatter shot. We do have the invisibility spell next to that town hall as a baby dragon is going to secure the archer tower. Continuing this queen to really push through here. I'm going to keep your eye. Look at that. That rage up for the queen. Oh, that's a lot of damage on the queen, but he's able to keep her alive. As the Flame Flinger still goes... Oh, the Balloon pulls a second Sinking Air Mine there, which goes to the Baby Dragon. Didn't really matter there because the Baby Dragon was going to die off anyway. So that was a brilliant Coco Loon. As we got... Wait, what? We got an RC into the Town Hall. Freezes up the enemy RC. Wall breaks into the core. The RC is behind the Golem now. Remember, the, remember, once the Golem dies, it will actually do death damage. So if it dies next to the Town Hall, it will activate it. But the RC is going to clear the ground expo. The queen is getting hit by quite a bit of defenses. The town hall becomes invisible. The queen's ability goes off. King and the warden going down to the bottom side. He, what is the plan for the town hall? The uh, Barbarians? Wait, what? The queen's still going. The RC dies off. We've got that warden still has the ability to protect this king. The town hall is still standing. Wait a second. The queen is continuing this charge straight through the core of this base. Warden ability. Oh, he pops in now to protect that king. No more queen ability. There's ice golems. Balloons into the town hall. One ice golem. Rage the balloons. He's raging the balloons to secure a town hall. J no! The town hall. You can earthquake it. You can earthquake it. It'll go down with an earthquake. There it is. Yes. The town hall goes down with the earthquake. And here comes the barge. The super minions coming out of that flame flinger. He's still got a call, several more archers. But that queen going down. Not securing that monolith here. With that king, unfortunately. Definitely hurt. But he, those balloons in a rage didn't get that town hall. So he had to invest the earthquake. As it is only another two star here for Gaku. An 86%. Nice try. With some barbarians and archers, quite a bit here. And he's starting off with that queen into the defensive king to help clear this. With those healers down, clearing the king. And he pulls out the Electro Titan Ice Golem out of the defensive clan castle. Handful of balloons. He's got that recall. So typically we tend to see that recall being used to help pull that queen back. But the damage on the queen, he has to invest. Whew gonna say philip you gotta you have to invest that rage spell to be able to secure this area as some balloons go to the cannon queen's gonna loop her way up into the town hall now from the oh wait nope she's gonna go wizard tap uh oh uh you got a couple invis you can try to reroute this queen to go back right make this stuff invisible over here the archer tower uh queen you gotta go back queen queen go to the town hall queen where are you going don't go to the archer tower Archer Tower stays. Does she go back? Oh, wait. No. She goes to the Archer Tower. 
Oh, she does come back. He rages. No need for that Invis. Oh, that was huge. To keep the spell intact so he can use it somewhere else. He can recall this queen now. And he... Oh, that was close. He... Imagine if he missed that queen. That would have been attack over in a heartbeat. But now he recalls. Sends that queen with the warden to the far right side. Behind a golem and king as well. He's got a log. Oh, yes. There's the log launcher to cut across this space into the eagle with some barbarians. Archers around the edges to move his way through as the king has is starting to push his way down to the bottom side down here. As he can pop the warden ability to protect the log launcher as it's completely opening up this core. There's a rage. Warden. No, not yet. Warden. No, he's being patient. Very patient. He doesn't need to. There it is. He burns the warden. Out comes the yetis. The healers have transferred to the yetis now. As he's trying to clear eventually towards the scatter. But he can have this queen re reach the monolith. But there is an invis. Which is going to make the monolith invisible. Queen stops hitting the CC. Oh, queen's ability. <gasps> that was just in time. Just in time. Now she's going to go for the monolith. This RC is still moving her way down to the bottom side. The queen, she has bailed. Nope, she comes back. Healers need to go keep this queen up. He's got the spells. There's the freeze. Oh, perfectly timed as the RC is running. The queen doing what she does best. Go for those walls. It makes her invisible. Takes a little bit. But the headhunter is also invisible. Protecting, taking out the enemy queen. It's going to be a race against time. As this RC is running, he needs to protect and use that ability. King's going to clear the storage. He's got the cleanup. He's moving around. And Philip, with the RC ability going off, is going to get the three star here in this match. GG. Getting it done. That is huge for their team. And he's looking to three star with the Lightning and the Valkyries. 11 of them. Five healers. Got a queen RC. It's a symmetrical base here with the town all, all the way to the edge. Kind of the box style. As the balloons are clearing out these early buildings. As the blimp's going to fly right on over. And it's going to secure this town hall. No worries of invisibilities or poisons. Just an easy town hall, town hall lure. Killing off these headhunters. Got the five lightning, which can be used on a multi-target inferno. As more skeletons are popping. Coming over to the poison. They will die in the poison. Maybe. I don't know. Nope, they don't. As he does actually take out the multi there in the core and the defensive rage. So that's really beneficial, especially for a queen charge. So she's not going to get hit by raged up defenses. Baby dragon clearing the archer tower over there. As this queen's looking to charge through. But the eagle artillery is on his queen. You have to be very careful. A couple wall breaks that he has. There's the balloon. Oh, protecting these healers perfectly. Down goes the air defense. There's the wall break to open the compartment for the queen. Sneaky goblin onto the storage. Does not want the queen to walk down. Wants her to continue her way to the cannon. There's another balloon. There's the king to the bottom side. Here, the Valks are going to come down to the bottom with an eye. Oh, that queen ability was just perfectly timed if he waited one more second that queen of would have potentially died through ability as the valks the king the warden are all coming down to the bottom side he still has another wall break he's being patient here where is he going to utilize this jump spell the valks are no he's got three more there's the jump king's got the burn ability warden eternal tome warden oh yes but did he lose his king oh he lost his king that's huge that's gonna hurt as the queen is stuck on a no the queen actually moved the expo as the RC finds the tornado trap and getting spun around, the queen comes back to life. Which means she's going to die off here. And the Valks have vanished. They got stuck and they just did not move their way into the core. Those Valkyries. Oh my, he still has a few left there. But the Valks were not able to push their way into the core. They That eagle artillery removing that king did work. Taking so much damage. As Gaku will have the final attack for his team. And he's going to have to triple many, many brackets. Viewers selected this team of Gaku and Ryuda to win it all in this Creative Master Series. Can they do it? Can they make a comeback here? They are down. As we still have asked to come in with an attack as... No, I think... 
I think so. Or Philip. Philip tripled. So Ashed and then Gaku. But nice try to Ryuda. He's looking to get a three star. Can he do it? This would be huge if he's able to execute it. As we've got a Warden Walk to start with some hogs. We've got the Skelly Donut to help remove the Clan Castle, the Eagle, the Multi, and the Ground Expo. Grabbing four defenses all at once, or three defenses and a building. And he successfully takes that down. Jeez. The amount of value you get from the one Skelly Donut. And look at this. 17 hogs. But notice, no heal spells in the mix here for his hog riders. Taking out that value. As he's going to continue to clear the Tassa farm. Eventually make his way into the, into the scatter shot. That poison lizard of the warden did go down. As now the queen is going to pull this warden to the left side. Baby dragon over there as well. Giants are trying to help protect. As we're going to see a log launcher try to cut all the way across this base. And there it is. The log launcher is down. King as well. King's going to tank perfectly the damage from the log launcher. The giants are taking the single tower inferno damage long enough so the queen can help secure that. But does the wall breaks? Uh-oh. Okay, the queen should come back. The log launcher kind of got stuck there on the wall a little bit. But he's opening up the core. Still has warden ability. As it's sm mashing his way through the middle here. As the king's ability does go off. The town hall becomes invisible. The defensive raid spell goes off. Ice golems and some yetis as he's continuing this path through. There's the warden ability to protect. He sends the golem to the top side into the RC. With his royal champions, he's continuing his way into this town hall. Queen with her ability can help secure that. He's got tons of spells here to use. Freezing the town hall and the invis tower that was about to come back. And the hogs are being used on the bottom side as he's cutting across. Moving his way through. Queen is going to get stuck onto this defensive king. Looks like she's going to force ability. But those hogs, no heal. He's sprinkling them around as the RC is continuing. It's looking good. It's looking good here for Ash with the Skelly Donut Warden Walk into the smash style attack with Hogs on the back end. Brilliant. With an RC ability. Very nice job to come through with 30 seconds and swagging that invisibility. What a beauty. Ash coming away with that three star. Here to keep them in it. He's got 36 sneaky goblins that's a lot of sneakies with seven bats wow okay um do you want to take any more sneakies gaku hello let's see as this warden is gonna try to push his way into the multi and he's going early stone slammer to the left side by the multi-target inferno it opens up no blimp there and he's gonna try to go to that queen no rage He's killing the queen slowly. And the queen... Oh, the queen does not die. And the air defense doesn't even die either. That's going to be a problem. The queen is low health here. But that's a lot of sneakies. Oh, my. Should he have enough to get to the town hall? I think so. As he's going to have to start clearing these buildings down here if he wants to remove the town hall with the sneakies. Dropping barbarians and archers around. That multi-target inferno is going to go down to from his warden. Wait a sec. He's going early bats. Never mind. He's going early bats. But the warden needs to be pulled to the queen. The bats are down. The bats are moving to try to clear the bottom side since there's no splash down there. That's what he identified. The bats are clearing the bottom side of this base as he's moving with the king to the top. Look at the bats clear it all. They're moving. They're still going. They're going to activate the invis potentially. No, they still. Okay, they don't activate it. But they did clear, they didn't clear all of the value down there as the warden ability is used. But he's still got 34 sneakies. The defensive headhunter is quite annoying. There's the sneakies coming around to clear these buildings. The queen needs to clear the scatter. Luckily, the queen is not locked out of the hound. So she can clear this stuff with a couple invis. Now the hound does pop. Scatter shot goes down. Now clearing some of these lava pups. Not sure. I mean, the biggest threats are now the mile of town hall, but the town hall should go down to the sneakies. There's a haste to send these sneakies into the town hall even faster. But guys, the problem is the invis is going to go off. 
RC makes the R... Oh, he double wall breaks into the core as the RC... Oh, he does actually get that wall break off. Sneak... Oh, the invis goes off. Uh-oh, but the queen, unfortunately, needs to rage up this queen. He pops her ability. The sneakies are all going for the town hall now. Hopefully, there's no small bombs or giant bombs. There are, and town hall is going to go down. Rages the queen up to secure the monolith. But, oh, the bastard didn't clear all the value he was hoping for. These ground expos are going to do work onto his queen. Very nice try to the Gaku there. Coming in with the uh, sneaky uh, goblins. That is tough. With a bunch of bats to start it off. And a lot of stuff still on the bottom side down here. Very nice try. A lot of the bats starting to get picked off. But that is going to be another two-star here in the 80s. Nice try to Gaku. Looking to try to close it out with a three-star. Because if he gets the triple and get a three-star lead, the judge voting can't even influence it at all. Because that would be way too much to make a comeback from. As we have the bats... Clearing each corner of this base. Air defense is being distracted. Clearing the air defenses just like that. As we got a Dragon Rider to try to move into this multi-target Inferno. Followed behind with a Stone Slammer. Pulling out quite a bit of Seeking Air Mines here. More Seeking. Oh my goodness. Look at the Seeking Air Mines. That does. Oh, he's got Bowlers. He's got Raged Up Super Bowler. He's going to try to get the Monolith here. I just, oh, look, wait, no, don't tell me it hits it. Oh, it does. It does. It's hitting the Monolith. It's hitting the Monolith. Wait a second. Wait a second. Another Invis. Wait a second. Wait a second. He takes the Monolith down. Are you serious? And the Town Hall. Wait, the Town Hall is almost down. It's almost down. He's almost, no, he freezes. He's trying. The, oh, the Electro Titans. Aurora is killing him. The Electro Titan killed it by standing there. Oh, my. But the RSC ability secures the Town Hall just like that. But look at that Super Bowler getting the double bounce, hitting the monolith behind the Town Hall. Oof. As we've got that queen to move her way to the left side, followed with the king to move his way as well. Yeah, Electro Titan did work as it killed off the Baby Dragon. Now going to be annoying for this Queen as he's going to continue his way through. The King's making his way to the left. He's got two more Dragon Riders to utilize. That Electro Titan, the Queen has decided to go on her own. Not going to the Scattershot, unfortunately. Uh-oh. But he's got at least the two-star, right? Because he should be able to get percentage no matter what. As the Warden pops the ability, protects the Electro Titan and the Queen. Another Wall Break comes in. As the queen is going to decide to run up and not follow behind to that scatter shot there. As he's continuing his way through, King's ability did go off. Does have a queen. Unfortunately, this eagle artillery and tons of stuff are still awaiting him there. I love that super bowler. Getting that double bounce. Pops that queen ability. Going into the bomb tower. Oh, man. He definitely obviously wanted to use that royal champion somewhere else in this attack here. But ha used her to secure the town hall at least. Very nice try to fill up there. Very nice try, my friend. Just as a little bit more. But Ash and Philip looking good here as we do still have the judge voting. We'll take a look at that. But brilliant. I loved it. I love the blimp, the super bowlers. Very, very nice there. As it is only the 67% two star. But the score, as you see on the screen, is currently 8 to 10. With Ash and Philip having 10. And the percentage is an 84. Wait. It's an exact tie on percentage? What? So, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the judge voting. Oh my goodness. What? They're tied. <laughs> it has to be a 2-0 to win. Oh my. They're tied on percentage. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? All right. So while the judge voting comes in, uh, I did not expect a tie. Holy jeez, on a percentage. Uh, so we can end that. Perfect. All right. So let's now to go into uh, the giveaway, right? Because you have to be over on Twitch if you want to enter into the giveaway, my friends. While the judge voting is getting their votes in. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. 